Good evening everyone. Well, it's first video back since I got back from the US last week. Uh, getting settled back in and at this stage now jet lag is wore off. So uh, we are starting to get into some of the, the jobs that's left to be done. Uh, one of them is we have to mow our second cut silage. And uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, uh, just get the the mower in the gate. Yes, that's what we're doing today. We're getting it mowed and uh, getting it done. Um, we're going to mow it in two stages. Uh, We've cut 12 acres just before this field here and there's about 7 acres here in this field. And uh, we're going to cut this, these couple of fields first and uh, we'll get them lifted tomorrow. And then the plan is uh, early next week then, weather permitting, uh, we'll cut the other few fields that's left and we'll get them done as well. Uh, the reason we're cutting it in two stages like this is uh, we're opening the, the silage pit the first cut silage pit and uh, this is going to go in on top of on top of the, the first cut uh, and then our smaller pit that we have down the bottom the plan is to the plan is to then next week we'll we'll put the, the other few fields into the small pit down the bottom. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what we hope to do. Yeah, so we've got a loan, a loan of our neighbor's mower once again. Uh, we had it last year for mowing the, the second cut so we could group it. And uh, yeah, well, what I done in the last field was uh, I mowed a bit, a couple of rounds around it and grouped those rounds and uh, Dad then come in with the, the 8 foot tarot and he started mowing as well and I grouped onto his row and it worked out fairly well I have to say. It's the first time I used a 10 foot mower to group onto the tarot, the tarot's row and it pleasantly surprised at how well it worked. So, yeah, at least it, you, you can't just take the entire cut, which you'll probably see uh, once he, he comes over and I take a little bit of footage of it. You can't take the entire cut with you. You have to keep out a little bit. But it means that you'd have about a 16, 17 foot row uh, of grouped grass, which should be more than sufficient for uh, the JF900 and should speed up the lifting process for tomorrow. Uh, the original plan was to to do this on Saturday, mow it out on Friday and get it lifted on Saturday but with the with the way the weather went uh, it's now showing wet over the week the coming weekend we decided that we'd just get stuck into it and get it done now, so... That's kind of where we're at. Yeah, it's a 13.65 more this, so it's 10 foot with a grouper. And... Yeah, we used this mower before, it's a very good mower. Uh, cuts very well. Um, I would like to get a trailed mower at some stage with a grouper and uh, it is on the cards but uh, finding a good one isn't easy. I'd like to buy one maybe something around maybe two or three years old that wasn't a contractor's machine and uh, that 
there, so it didn't do a whole pile of work. But finding finding one of those moors isn't easy, so. Uh, so we're on round number two at this stage. We haven't started grouping yet. Uh, that'll be on the next round, on the next pass or round by. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the camera and take a little bit of footage whilst it's still daylight. So we'll be back for a little bit of chat whenever I get a little bit of footage.
we're just coming down to the last couple of bits that's left. Uh, we've got through it fairly quick. As you can see, it's still not dark. Uh, it did cloud over a little bit. Uh, and there was a couple of spits of rain on the window, but uh, the clouds have passed. Um, yeah, there's a little, a little snippet here in the middle of the field. And a couple of small bits over along the over along this right hand side and then one run right around the, the headlands uh, and then that's us that's us finished with we'll everything mode um, yeah the two mowers really does make a huge difference when you're mowing it's very good crop of grass especially on this field here but even the even the last field that that we mowed as well has a, a, a really really good crop of grass on it. Uh, there's a little bit of chickweed I see in this here. This was sprayed earlier in the year for chickweed but I see it has come back up after our spell of good weather. Uh, all this here ended up, all this grass ended up, a lot of it got burnt and uh, the weeds kind of flourished um, in, certain, in certain fields and certain areas. So. Yeah, this is definitely one of the fields that uh, the chickweed has done very well. We had little or no chickweed in this field and for the first cut. So I'm putting it down to the I'm putting it down to the, the warm weather and the grass getting burnt that time. So that's us just finished. Uh, we've got the, the row around the headlands all finished as well and uh, yeah everything's mowed out now and ready ready for lifting for tomorrow um, Final Charms there is ready and uh, it's just a matter now I've head back to the yard and I'll hook it on this evening and have it hooked on um, a few other bits and pieces to do around the yard as well so hopefully, hopefully not be too late of a night because uh, we've nearly enough start in the morning. Um, gonna we have to pull back the the cover off the first cut. Um, we have all the tires off, but uh, the cover and the sandbags has to come off in the morning just before we get started. So we hope to be mowing. Sorry, hope to be lifting with the GF in the morning about about 8 30 so we'll probably have to be up in the yard for around seven or shortly after just to, to have have the covers pull back and be ready for ready to go. I uh, don't know whether you can see it here. Let us see what can you see yeah you can kinda of see them. Uh, it's very good rows of grass which is always a good sign. Uh, actually fairly big rows of grass uh, this was a very heavy crop here in this field uh, as it was in the in the first field we mowed as well but it looks slightly heavier in this field which could be slightly worrying for the GF <laughs> but it should be able to handle these rows uh, like I said earlier the rows aren't they aren't a full 18, uh, 18 foot, they're probably around between 16 and 17 foot with uh, me not filling the, this mower, so should be well fit for them. But anyway, that's it for this evening. Uh, I'm going to get out here and see what Jerry Senior's up to or why is he parked here. And we'll chat to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.